Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Welcome to a new build. Right. I did a review on this one. This kit is the kit that my young lady bought me uh, when I first started my YouTube channel. Uh, she bought it after I had a lot of aggravation with a uh, bulldozer, the armoured bulldozer, and she bought me this one. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it was just to keep me quiet. But it's been in my, it's been in my stash, and I've been away from my bench for quite a while over the Christmas period, and. I've made a decision now that I'm actually going to build some of these kits that I've actually got in my stash because it seems very stupid having them sat there because uh, they just sit there and sit there and sit there they cost a lot of money and they should be built and displayed so this is the first one or one of the ones I'm starting on now and uh, this is the D9R Armoured Bulldozer by Ming and I shall lift the lid up and I know a lot of people have built this one and they've done a build log on it but hey ho I'm still going to do one we have a colour paint guide and also we have the destruction manual which is going to be very useful for building this as you can see, there is a heap of plastic in here. There is no need of it. And also, I have a nice set of metal tracks for this vehicle, which were bought uh, for a replacement on the armoured bulldozer, and they just didn't work. So, but they're going to work on this one. So we've got them to go on it as well. So I'm going to get this plastic out in, and sort it into different boxes. And we'll come back and we'll have a look at the workshop manual and we'll get started on this one. Oh, sorry about a little bit of glare there, but the D9R Armour Bulldozer by Ming. Now, uh, this is the destruction book. And we'll just go straight in. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll go through this step at a time. I'll start with uh, step one. What I will do is that is this is step one. Uh, I shall assemble step bit. That's step one. Come back to you. We'll have a little look at step one, and then we'll move on to step two, and we'll just keep assembling each section as we go along, and till we get the whole thing finished. So, I'm gonna do step one. Right, part one's done. Uh, this is the, well actually it's, it's the whole body of the actual bulldozer. Uh, this bit is that bit's main drive, which is there. So this is literally the whole body of the bulldozer so everything else now goes on top of it there's not much there to look at it's not very interesting it's just a little box now to put everything on so that's assembled and now we'll go over to step two okay step two uh, we're looking at engine covers either side radiator and top cover uh, that's where the engine would be so I'm gonna get that done and uh, I will be back okay part two is assembled uh, not a great deal to look at yet again it's been uh, this piece here the two side pieces the top and the front grill or radiator uh, fit a very very precise fit very impressed with it yes very impressed so we'll go over now and we'll have a look at the destructions for the step three 
Okay, it looks like uh, now on step three we're going to have to do a few sub assemblies uh, before we actually go back onto the main body. Uh, this is the the club, or I suppose you'd call it. It's the big hook at the back of the vehicle. Uh, so I'm going to get this assembled up and then I shall come back and uh, we'll have another little look and uh, if there's any, any problems I will let you know. Okay, part three has been done. Uh, the claw has been assembled as you can see very well detailed very impressed with the actual molding the fit everything went together really nicely uh, I started a little bit of damage on the actual hook itself as this would have been dragged through concrete and, oh, and bits and pieces so I've made a few scores and scratches on it but there probably will be a few more by the end of the uh, build uh, this is going to be fitted onto here somehow, which we will find out slightly later. Alright, we'll go across to the uh, destructions and have a look what we've got installed next. Right, on the destructions now, we've got quite a few bits now going on to the actual claw by the look of it. So, I'm going to put uh, these bits on. I should get these bits assembled on and then I'll be back, we'll have a quick look and then we'll move on to number five. Well, that's section four done and as you can see this claw is starting to build up into quite a beast as you can see. Uh, fit absolutely bang on. Really, I really do like uh, these Ming's, Ming's kits they really are well well engineered well molded everything just literally clips together really impressed with it so far but things can change alright we'll nip across and we'll have a look at the destructions ok on to number 5 and by the look of it we've got some rivets to shave off and stick onto the hydraulic rams so this is basically the assembly of the hydraulic rams uh, which all go on to this rear claw and this actually gets attached to the rear of the uh, bulldozer so I'm going to assemble all these and get this bit assembled and we'll have a little look at that Stage 5 has been completed. It's quite impressive actually. Uh, all the rams and that have all been put on and it does actually all move. So it is quite impressive, even though they've got a few squeak, squeaks and groans there. But uh, that's that little bit done. So we'll move across now and we'll have a look at uh, number 6. Okay, number six. It's just now uh, putting the covers on the actual rams and that. Nothing too spectacular. Uh, and for some strange reason, there's a hook underneath. So I'm going to get these covers put on and fit it off. And that will be number six done. And we can move on to the next one. Right, part six is being done. Now, what can I say? This whole back section now is finished. Uh, because I've just been having a little look through the uh, notes, through the destructions, and we're on to sort of like assembling the cab. So, all in all, I'm quite impressed with it. It's Everything's gone together well. It looks good. Uh, even the rivets even though I spent a couple of minutes just cutting them off and gluing them on uh, yeah they look okay they look good I mean it's I think it'll be up to individual choice when you do it if you're gonna sit and faff and fart about with them but all in all it's very good 
everything moves, everything works, works like the real thing. So, yes, I'm very impressed. Uh, and that's about all I can say, really. So, without further ado, we'll get on, we'll have a look at uh, the next step. Alright, what we've got installed on this bit. Now, on to the... This is the actual cab base. And by the look of it now, there's lots of little bits that's going to need painting before it's assembled on number 8. So, number 7 straightforward. That's a straightforward uh, few bits to put together. And then this bit, it looks like... Uh, 950, what's that? That's Vallejo Black. Uh, 023, what's that? That's Hemp. Uh, yep. Yeah. And then we've got, what other ones we've got? Uh, 51, I think that's white. 951, I wouldn't swear on that. So yeah, there's quite a few different colours going in it, in these bits and pieces. I'm going to get the base assembled and I shall get started on this uh, assembly here and then I will then come back to you uh, I'll try and get it painted, I'll get it painted as well uh, as they're telling me to paint it, I'll paint it I'll follow, I'll, I'll follow the instructions for a change so that's what I'll do, I'll, I'll get this, this part of the cab assembled uh, the base and uh, then I'll come back and we'll have a little look and see what it looks like. Alright, sections uh, 7 and 8 are done, and as you can see, I've done a small bit of detailing in the actual cockpit of the uh, bulldozer. I don't think you're going to see much through these windows, and I'm not going to have the top off, but I can always come back to it. So that is seven and eight and uh, we're gonna have a look now at uh, number nine and number ten i think all right the reason i said that we'll have a look at uh, nine and ten is the simple reason is they're both just assembly of the seats and placing them in so i'm going to get these assembled get them painted up and i'll get them in situ and then I'll, we'll have another look for uh, what's we have to this number eleven wouldn't it Right, 9 and 10 was the seats, which I've constructed, painted and put in. I've done a little bit of, you know, weathering, not actually weathering, but a little bit of wear and tear in there. Uh, just in case you can see more through the windows than what I'm thinking of. But all in all, very nice, very well detailed. You could spend a great deal of time really sort of going to town and, and doing a lot of work on the the interior if you're going to have the cab top off uh, everything went together beautifully no issues at all no fettling at all well little bits of fettling a little bit of cleaning up here you know where the, where the sprue gates came in but everything's brilliant so we're going to move across now to uh, number 11 and see what offerings they've got for us on the next bit Right, section 11. I'm sorry, but we're not going to go no further than having a quick look at this because uh, I'm virtually getting up to about 15, 16 minutes now for this uh, little build log of this uh, DR9. So, this is where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it with section 11 uh, and just telling you that it's now we're building the cab. So, the start of the next one this is where we'll start on section 11 uh, building the actual cab itself so thank you very much for sitting through uh, this part and if you're still awake <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one <laughs>